magandang umaga po uh, it's me, Big Sigar TV ang inyong frontliner at gwardiya uh, ngayon po ang aking mga ini-edit naman video po ay mga war history dahil wala pa po akong mga tutorial video uh, kaya po naisipan ko po na gumawa muna ng uh, uploading video na created common na hindi po sa akin yun po naman po ay pinapayagan ng ng youtube uh, kaya po yun ang po muna ang aking ginagawa at sa creative common nga pong ito ang aking pong ina-upload ay mga war history at ang lahat ng mga barkong ginamit eroplanong ginamit ang mga bansa na sumali narito po yan sa lahat ng aking pong ini-edit ang aking pong ini-edit po ay galing po sa credit po ito ng naval engine ang creator po ay ang world of warship Napakaganda po kasi ng pagkaka-edit ng video na ito, yung pictures, yung sound effect, saka yung voice ng narrator ay maganda po. Kaya po naisipan kong i-upload ito at may bahagi ko naman po sa mga manonood sa aking pong mga subscriber. Kaya po, uh, huwag niyo po sanang kalimutan mag-subscribe. Diyan po, kung nakikita niyo po dyan. At siyempre po, mag-like mag -like na rin kayo sa aking Facebook account at mag-comment. Kung ano po ang mga video po na gusto nyo pong aking i-upload. Ready. In the glorious history of the U.S. Navy, one ship is the most decorated. A ship that rightfully earned its fame and became an object of admiration and pride for the nation. USS Enterprise, a Yorktown-class aircraft carrier, was built to oppose Japanese Hiryu and Soryu. She took part in the majority of battles in the Pacific Ocean, was awarded 20 battle stars, and became the most decorated U.S. ship of World War II. In World of Warships, Enterprise is the first premium aircraft carrier at Tier 8. She has normal dimensions for her type and decent propulsive performance, which allow her to quickly take a safe position on the map. This gives her captain the opportunity to concentrate on the battle without being distracted by maneuvering. A large number of AA guns also help your concentration, as you can pay less attention to enemy air raids. Of course, speed, maneuverability, and good AA defense are necessary. But the main thing for a carrier is her aircraft. The American has the biggest hangar at Tier 8, 96 planes and only one variant of flight control, but a versatile one. An Enterprise captain has six squadrons at their disposal, two of each type, fighters, bombers, and torpedo bombers. Another interesting peculiarity of this ship lies in the way her torpedo bomber squadrons attack the enemy. It's quite unconventional and already familiar to many players thanks to Japanese carrier Kaga. If both of your air groups attack one adversary, they'll have a hard time dodging a strike like this. However, some of your torpedoes can miss the target due to the fairly wide spread. And now for the most interesting part. Enterprise is the first aircraft carrier to have bombers armed with armor-piercing bombs. Take note, this new type of ammunition does not set targets on fire. Instead, you can penetrate the thin deck armor of any ship and inflict impressive damage. You should also know that due to an unusual bombing ellipse, the most efficient way to attack an enemy is along its hull and not across it. One successful bombing run from this American can inflict as much damage as one precise salvo from a battleship. They were designed to be the best. They met enemies face to face endured tragedies and enjoyed victories. They went down in history due to the bravery of their crews. They are the ships that deserve to be called Naval Legends.